graders at Jezu Elementary in University Heights, Ohio. I hear you're going to study animals of the Arctic. The Arctic is a polar region at the northernmost part of Earth. It actually includes a little bit of the United States. Can you figure out which state? And a little bit of northern Canada. So the animals up there are going to need to be able to deal with this cold and this snow. Animals like the snowy owl and the lemming. Lake Erie is locked up. Woo! And the forest floor is blanketed with snow. The Chagrin and Rocky Rivers, frozen. So third graders, what for us at this latitude is only a seasonal phenomenon. You know, all these cold Arctic-like temperatures. The animals of the Arctic have to deal with this year round. So as you're studying them, think about what adaptations help them thrive and survive in these cold climates. Also, think about what animals are missing from your projects. Any reptiles? Any amphibians? I don't think so. Special shout out to Mrs. Clary, I'm Naturalist Marty. Looking forward to hearing about your projects. Classic amphibian, the spotted salamander. Not gonna see this when it's cold outside. Amphibians have wet skin, they're cold blooded. Their body temperature is gonna be the same as the temperature outside. And there's no way that this animal can process food if it's super cold. So it's not gonna eat, it's gonna hibernate. That state of hibernation is called torpor and they do that deep in the ground and you will not see this salamander again until spring, the spotted salamander. Classic reptile, a turtle. This painted turtle, yes, you find them in Ohio, but not in the winter. They dig deep down in the mud. They also hibernate. So everything about their body slows down as it gets cold. They're not eating any food. They're barely breathing. They're underneath bodies of water. The painted turtle. 